Hello, hello. Welcome. Good evening, guys. Good evening, everybody. Carlos Enrique, Saúl, Cristi. Good evening. Today is not raining, right? Good evening. Good evening. No rain. No rain today. Today, <laughs> no rain. <laughs> yeah, so we're lucky. No rain. Okay, so we're going to start immediately to the class, right? I will share the the PowerPoint presentation for tonight. Okay. Good. Uh, today is April the 20th, right? This is the class number two. And uh, we're going to learn today about time expression for regular activities, right? Yesterday, we were learning about the simple present, the simple present, right? And today, we continue talking about the present, but uh, using some time expressions, right? Okay, so let's begin. Uh, Jorge, can you, can you read the, the objective for tonight, please? Um, the scenario, uh, education, preparation, uh, uh, Jorge, sorry, I, uh, I, I, I have some problem. I don't know if, you, if, if it is me, but I cannot hear very well, Jorge. Casi no le, co le copiamos. Uh, maybe it's the microphone, Jorge? No. No, it's wrong. Okay. Let's try again. Read again, please. Léamelo nuevamente, Jorge. Vamos a ver si ahora se, se escucha mejor. Come on. Okay, very good. <laughs> It's better now. Thank you, Jorge. Okay? So this is the objective. We, we hear better, right? Le escuchamos un poquito mejor. Okay. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Now, let's continue, right? What activities do secretaries do in your company, right? Let's start with Beatriz, right, Beatriz? Um, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Listen, Beatriz, what activities do secretaries do in your company? For example, do they call? Do they um, receive I people? Think, mm -hmm. I think <laughs> they call clients mm -hmm. or take calls. Uh, <laughs> they call clients. They they take some call, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Enrique. What about you? What is your opinion, Enrique? What are the activities? that the secretaries do in your company, Enrique? Uh, in his banco, in a banco, banco, ajá, banco, a banco. No secretary. Secretary, no, no, no secretary. Okay, I understand, Enrique, okay, good. What about you, Christy? What are the activities that you normally see in with the secretaries? No, it's the cashier. Only the cashiers. Also in a bank, right? Yes, yes, okay. The cashier. Banco Atlantida. Banco Atlantida. Okay, yes. Oh, I understand. No secretary. Good. Let's yes. see the, la the last uh, candidate to answer the question. Uh, Saúl, please. What activities do secretaries do, Esau? This is in... Hi, good evening. Unicomer, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, to control clutter. Mm -hmm. uh, schedule. Schedule? Uh-huh, schedule. Schedule, uh, 
from our thoughts. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Saúl. So, the secretaries normally uh, receive calls. They have a schedule, right? Uh, horarios, horarios, right? The schedule, normally they take notes. They uh, receive calls. They call the clients, right? Uh, when there is a problem, all the managers go to the secretary and they say, secretary, please help me, <laughs> okay? So the secretary is in every problem, in every solution. I mean, no problem, solution <laughs> of the problem, right? Okay, thank you very much, right? Now, let's continue. Here we have some vocabulary before we start with the conversation. Type. Type is a verb. When you write on the computer, right, or other device, the your, for example, your cell phone, when you when you write in your cell phone, right. So uh, by pressing the keys, you are typing, typing, right, in the computer, or in in the tablet, in the in the cell phone, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right. Okay, then send. Is a verb, right? Cause something to be transmitted electronically, right? Other synonym of send is dispatch or deliver. For example, when you when you send a message, right? When you when you are in WhatsApp, for example, right? You you send a message, so you transmit electronically a message, right? Okay, or uh, your email. You send you send an email. You dispatch the the email, right? Hard working. Hardworking is a person who tends to work with energy, okay? For example, uh, all the students in this class, I, I understand that you are hardworking, right? Uh, Jorge, Elizabeth, Carlos Enrique, et cetera, et cetera. All of you are hard workers, right? You work very hard, very good. So this is hardworking. Good. Now we have this conversation. Listen. Uh, it's only a talking it says what does Dominique do well uh, she's a secretary you know it's the name of the secretary Dominique right and so says oh I see uh, and what does she do every day exactly uh, oh I see your point well she types reports and sends emails every day she's a hard working woman and Sonia says, absolutely. Does she arrive early? And Matt said, yeah. She's the first person to arrive in the office, right? Okay, good. Now, this is the conversation. Now, listen and repeat after me, please. What does Dominique do? What does... Dominique do? Well, she's the secretary. Oh, sorry. She's a secretary. She is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? What does she do every day? Exactly. Exactly. What does she do every day exactly? Oh. I see your point. I see your point. Well, she types reports. She types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Hardworking. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? 
Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, very good. Now we're going to take the attendance. And let's start with uh, Carlos Josue Portillo. You can say present. Okay. Cindy Elizabeth. Cristina Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Joshua. Joshua. Esaú. I'm here. Good, thank you. Edwin Osvaldo. Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Mucho gusto. Ah, it's a pleasure. Yes. Okay. Good. And and uh, I'm happy to have you in my class, right? So thank you for coming. Now, uh, Jill. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Giovanni. Mister Riva Rivera. No, okay. Uh, Beatriz? Here. Thank you. Jennifer? Miss Rivas Rosales? Jorge? Here, Thank you. Enrique? Here, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo? Mr. Flores Aguilar? Okay. Alejandro. Manuel Eduardo. Mario. I'm here. Thank you, Mario. Andres. Here, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Oscar Daniel Castillo. Victor. Here, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Antonio. And Carlos Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Any person I didn't mention? Oh, wait, I have a message here. Let me see. Uh, Cindy. Uh, okay, I understand. Let me see. Now you, you copy, Cindy? Ahora sí nos copia, Cindy? Buenas noches, hoy sí. Ah, ok. No, buenas noches, no. Good evening. <laughs> Good okay. evening. Good evening. Ok, thank you, Cindy. I know. Ya, ya le funcionó el micrófono. Ok, good. Sorry, I will repeat uh, some, some of the names because some of you are, are, are new in the class, right? Eh, Carlos Josué. Joshua. Edwin Osvaldo. Giovanni. Jennifer, Eduardo, Alejandro, Manuel Eduardo, Oscar Daniel, and Wilfredo, right? All the missing people. Okay. Todos estos chicos no están en la clase. Bueno, espero que les haya notificado, ¿verdad? Para que ya no estén acompañando, porque son varios compañeros ahí que no han asistido. Well, okay, let's continue, right? Uh, in the same dynamic, right? We are going to participate in this conversation and I'm going to start tonight with Carlos Enrique and Victor. Uh, Carlos Enrique, you are Sonia and Victor, okay. you are you are uh, Matt, right? Okay, give me a second, give me a second here. Do, do, do. Here, right. Okay, let's begin. Okay. What does Dominic do? Victor? Dígame, dígame. 
You say this. Well, she is. Well, she is a secretary. Secret, secretary. Good. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? The microphone, Victor. The microphone. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types, reports, and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, okay, thank you. Good participation, right? Very good. Now we have this word types. Arrive. First person. First person, right? Okay, thank you. Now I have uh, Andres. Andres, you are Sonia. And Mario, you are Matt, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, see your point. Well, well she types a report and email, emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okie dokie, thank you very much, right? Teacher, perdón. Just tell me, Andrés, just tell me. Eh, solo, ¿cómo se menciona? Donde yo no pude pronunciarlo okay. bien. Absolut, absolutely. Absolutely, say, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, very good. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. I will repeat the conversation for you if you want, for everybody, right? I mean, what okay. does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, very good class. Now we're going to have the last students, but please keep this in your mind. Now, Enrique and Jorge, right? Enrique, you're going to be Sonia, and Jorge, you're going to be Matt, right? Okay, okay let's begin. Try to, mem to memorize. What does Dominic do? Okay, excellent. She is? Okay, very good. Now, well, give, uh, Enrique. Oh, I, I see. What does she do? No, no, can see. Every day, exactly. Okay, very good. Oh, I see. You're quite well. Hardworking hard woman, very good. Thank you, Jorge. <laughs> now, Enrique, come on. Uh, 
Absolutely. 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 Eh, se escucha una gran interferencia y ruido. Yes, eh, creo que es, no sé si en el... En... Vamos a apagar los micrófonos, vamos a ver cuál, cuál es el que nos interrumpe. Regálame un segundito, Jorge y, y Enrique. Vaya, ahorita estamos en silencio. Ahora vamos a ver, Enrique, enciende el suyo. Encienda su micrófono, Enrique. Ahí está. Sí, sí, creo que, creo que atrás de, 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 de Enrique hay un, hay un sonido, ¿verdad, Enrique? No, 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 vaya. Ahora vamos con Jorge. Enciende el suyo, Jorge. No, está bien. Entonces, no sé qué pasaba ahí. Alguien tenía encendido el micrófono entonces. Sorry, ok, Enrique, encienda su micrófono otra vez y, y terminamos la conversación. Ok. Ajá, cheese. She's a hardworking. Sí, eh. She's your case. Well, she's a she's a hardworking woman. Okay. No, le toca la siguiente. Absolutely. Does she read or write early? Early. No, Matt. Yeah. 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 She is the first person to arrive in that office. Very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Ahí eh, les estaba haciendo un truquito, ¿verdad? Pero por hacer el truquito me salió mal la conversación. Pero vamos a intentarlo con una pareja más para terminar, ¿ok? Solo déjenme leer unos mensajitos aquí. Let me read. Uh, yes, let me see. Cindy, compañero. Sí, alguno estaba interfiriendo por ahí, pero... Es que no podía pagarlo porque como estaba participando Jorge y Enrique. Ok, luego dice... Yo creo que ya, ya pasó, ¿verdad? Digamos, ok, the last couple. Let me see. Eh, I have um, Beatriz and Jill, right? Beatriz, you're going to be you're going to be Math and Jill, you are Sonia, right? Ready? Ok, memorize, okay. memorize. One, two, three, action. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Action. Action. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay. Action. Okay. Uh -huh, no, no, okay, very good. <laughs> okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. What does she do? Oh, I see. What does she do every day, exactly? Oh, I see your point. <laughs> Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive to the office. Okay, very good. Good, good memory, right? Good memory, right? <laughs> Now I have my assistant to, tonight is Dino, right? Dino? <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Teacher. Okay. Yes. ¿Dónde consigue estos dinosaurios? Ah, uh, in, in Jurassic Park. Ah, <laughs> edición especial. Eh? Yeah, special edition. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Now, thank you. Now, let's go to, to this exercise. It says, she type or she types? Uh, let me see. Elizabeth, please help me, Elizabeth. 
cheat type or cheat types? What do you think? Types. So, repeat please. Cheat types. Cheat types. Cheat types. Very good. Cling. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, Saul, please. Yes. Number two. Does she or do she? <laughs> do she or that she? Does she? Does she arrive late? Uh huh. Very good. And uh, Cindy, please. Does she arrive or does she arrives? Does does she arrive? Arrive. Very good. Right. So listen, class. This is the simple present, right? When you use third person singular, he, she, and it, you are you add an extra S to the verb, right? So you don't say she type, but she types. And when you make questions, remember in the simple present, we use the auxiliary do and does. So you don't say, do she? No, you say, does she arrive late? Does she arrive late? Good. And also, when you use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to uh, to add the, the, the S, you know, in, in the verb, right? Look, it's not necessary to say arrives, no. It's not necessary, right? So what you do is to say arrive, okay? Good. Any questions so far? No questions? Okie dokie. Let's continue, right? Let's continue with the action. Okay, to review what we said yesterday, right? Uh, what is the simple present? This information is especially for Elizabeth, who wasn't in the class yesterday, right? So, uh, oh, wait, wait a minute, Elizabeth. I will copy here your, your nickname, right? Elizabeth. Okay. The simple present is one of the several forms. It's una de las tantas formas, right? of present ten, tense, sorry, present tense, in English, of course, right? No, in Spanish, in English. It is used to describe habits, you know, routines. Routine, for example, you, you go to your work, you call the clients, you send emails, you talk to your boss, you have meetings, you, you help the other, you repair machines, you, et cetera, et cetera, right? So repeated events and habits, routines. Oh, we also can say general true, right? The topic is simple. We have the subject and the verb. I take, you take, we take, etc., etc. And the third person takes an extra S uh, to the to the verb, right? So we don't say take, but takes. Here, right? Look. Take? No. Takes. Right? Okay. Very good. Now, we have the formula is the subject I, the verb at 10, and the complement meetings every Monday, right? Then we have uh, for the third person singular, notice we say she make, no, she makes phone call, right? She makes phone call. I say, for example, Edwin and Cindy make phone calls but I say Cindy makes phone call. Why? Because uh, er, I mean Esau, excuse me. Esau and Cindy is plural and uh, Cindy is singular. Right? So when we use plural we say attend and when we say singular we say attends or makes. Right? Okay. Very good. Here we have the, the rules. The rules are to add the S to the verse in third person singular. But I will review what is the first person, the second person, and the third person singular and plural, right? For example, we have a uh, first person singular and first person plural. What is it? Give me a second here. I will will do something to explain here. Right? Singular. 
Yes. So first person. A little bit more. Okay. The first person singular is I. When I speak, I am the first person, right? And the first person plural is we, right? We. So when you speak, you are the first person. You are singular or you are plural, right? Then we have the second person. The second person is the person that listen. So you say you, that in Spanish means tú, o usted, o vos, <laughs> in El Salvador is the vos, right? And in plural, ustedes. Or maybe when, when you you when you find a person that you you like, right? The person is mire usted, right? <laughs> okay. So that is the you, singular, right? And you in plural, ustedes. And finally, the third person singular is he, she, and it. And this includes all the singular. For example, when I say uh, the student, when I say, uh, for example, uh, Mario, Elizabeth, right? So it's singular. So it's third person singular, right? Okay. And also we have the third person plural that is they. Right now, class, the most important part here tonight or in, in this uh, display is he, she, and it. Right? Remember, it's singular, only one, and it's third person. I repeat, the first person is the one that speak, the second person is the one that listen, and the third person is the one we talk about. La primera persona es quien habla, sea singular o plural. La segunda persona es la que escucha en la conversación, right? O los que escuchan, en plural, you. Y la tercera persona es de quien hablamos. De quien es el chambre, ¿no? <ríe> la tercera persona. So we say he, she, and it. Right? Singular. And then they, that is plural, right? Okay, ellos. But I repeat, the most important part is, is this, right? Entonces, esta regla aplica solo para he, she, and it y todos los nombres eh, singulares. Okay? Now, let's go. Rule number one. Add S to the base form of the verb. For example, make, makes. Send, sends. Talk, talks. Okay, I, I will have Dino to help me with the pronunciation. Okay, it's especially because I have public in, in, in Cindy's house. Tenemos público en la casa de Cindy, ¿verdad? Esta noche, así que vamos a pedirle a Dino que nos ayude, okay? Let's say, mm, make, makes, send, sends. Casi no se ve en la mano. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, help. Helps. Yeah. Talk. Talks. Thank you, Dino. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, make is the base form, right? But when you say makes, is for third person singular. So, we, we say he makes, she makes, it makes, fetalized makes, Dino makes, <laughs> okay? Third person singular. But listen, when you say they, you don't say they makes, <laughs> they makes. No, 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 no. It's they make, I make, you make, we make. But only he, she, and it we are the extra S. Rule number two. Add S to the verse that end in S. No, ES, right? To the verse that end in S, CH, SH, X, or Z, right? Vamos a agregarle ES. ES, right? A los verbos que terminen con las letras S, CH, SH, X, etc. For example, brush. Veamos en qué termina brush. Ah, ok. In SH, look, termina en SH. Eh? Watch, CH. Dress, 
n sin s and fix n sin x, right? Okay, now, so we say brush, brushes, watch, watches, dress, dresses, fix, fix, right? Good. Rule number three, change the y to i and then add es. So cry, <laughs> cry, she cries. I cry, she cries. Then try, intentar, right? I try, he tries. Virulize tries, <laughs> you know? Third person, right? But deception is when the when the verb is uh, with the preceded, sorry, when the Y is preceded by a vowel, right? Cuando la, la, la Y es precedida de una vocal, aquí, por ejemplo, play, right? no es consonante, ¿no? Entonces, en ese caso no aplica. Plays. Enjoy. Look at this. La letra O, the letter O, is a vowel, right? So we say enjoy, enjoys. Aquí no aplica las reglas. Yes? It must be a consonant. Look. Debe ser una consonante la que precede a la I. Como aquí en cry, cry, yes. Pero en play, en plays, Joy and Joe's, ahí no aplica, ¿ok? Good. And finally, we have some irregular. Irregular. Do, does. I do, he does. Go and goes. We go, eh, Cindy goes. Have and has. We have, my brother has. And the verb to be, right? I am, you are, they are. But you say he is, she is, it is, right? Good, class. These are the rules for the simple present third person singular, tercera persona singular. Okay. Pero ¿qué debe ocurrir para que nosotros le agreguemos una S al verbo? Porque a veces o le agregamos la S a, a donde no va, o se nos olvida poner la S, ¿verdad? Entonces, tienen que ocurrir tres cosas. Number one, simple present. Debe ser en el presente simple. En el pasado y el futuro, no. No past, no future. Only in the simple present, right? Number two, it must be affirmative. Negative questions, no. Affirmative. And number three, it must be a third person singular. He, she, and it, right? Okay, again. Debe ser la oración afirmativa. La oración debe ser en, en a presente simple. Y debe ser en tercera persona singular, right? De otra forma, por favor, no me le agreguen una S al verbo. Okay? Questions. Do you have questions? En el caso cuando son plural. Okay, eh, en ese caso, no. No, let, let me give you one example, right? There are many examples with plural. For example, I say, eh, they uh, make, right? In this case, no. Yeah. Or when I say, my brothers, my brothers make, right? Plural. Or when I say, Esaú and Alejandro. Make, right? Why make? Because Esaú and Alejandro is plural, it's two, right? Okay. Yeah. Also with we, we make, I make, you make, right? Understand? Okay. But, but remember the third person singular. ¿Dónde entra la tercera persona singular? We she. She makes, yes. Aquí se aplica, mire. He makes. Misifus makes. Misifus makes. Meow, meow. <laughs> okay. Good. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Now, any other question? I, re remember what I said yesterday. Listen. Elizabeth no estaba ayer, pero se lo vamos a repetir a ella y a ustedes también. 
I love the question. Me gusta que me hagan preguntas. Así que, por favorcito, cada vez que haya una duda. Oh, por ahí está un amigo de, de Dino. <ríe> El oso Pu. <ríe> ok. Hello, bird. How are you, bird? I am a dinosaur. <ríe> bye, bye. Ahí está el osito también mandándole saludos a Dino. Ok, no questions, sure. Sure, no questions. Ok, aquí tengo una pregunta en el chat. Ah, yes, no problem, Carlos Enrique, no problem. Go ahead. Good. Now let's continue with the class, right? Ok. Good. Now this is the, the general form. Look, I made phone calls. We, you make phone calls, we make, they make, Sylvia and Candy make, right? But when it's singular, look, she makes, he makes, it makes, my friend makes, Oscar makes, Christina makes, Jorge makes, okay, Jennifer makes, Jill makes. Etc., etc., right? When it's singular, we add the extra S. Good. Questions? No questions? Okie dokie. Let's continue, right? Now we're going to go to the. This is affirmative, right? All these sentences. Look, is affirmative. Look, affirmative. But now we are going to introduce the negative and the questions. Okay, listen, in Spanish, we don't use auxiliaries because we have the verb conjugation. Nosotros usamos la conjugación del verbo, right? So when I say uh, make, for example, we say hago, haces, hacemos. Hice, hiciste, hicimos, hicieron, right? And in the future, haremos, eh, hará, etc, etc so this is the, the verb conjugation la conjugación del verbo we do in Spanish, right? but in English it doesn't exist no in English en inglés no existe la conjugación no, esto que hacemos nosotros de cambiar el verbo it doesn't exist in English. no existe para nada right? lo que ellos usan es un auxiliar look para indicar que la acción está en presente está en negativa o está en pregunta, usamos el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Notice the example. Look. They don't work at Sima. In Spanish, we normally say no, right? Ellos no trabajan. But in English, they use the auxiliary, right? We use the auxiliary. And for third person singular, My boss, for example, my boss doesn't talk about the new rules. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. So, to say something negative, we use the auxiliary. Y si se fijan, el verbo no cambia, eh? es el mismo. No cambia, ¿ok? So, when you use the auxiliary here, in this case, doesn't, you say my boss. And then you say, hey, pero el teacher dijo que... Tercera persona singular se le agregaba S, right? Yes. Pero aquí, ¿por qué no le hemos puesto la S? Ah, because of the auxiliary. Every time you use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to add the S in the verb. So we don't say, my boss doesn't talk. No, no. My boss doesn't talk, right? And for the other subjects we say don't but the, for the third person singular we say does right okay questions do you have questions si fueran positivos sería my boss talks excellent yes it's true when it's positive we say my boss talks yes. okay. very good thank you Leandro now other question no question? Okay, now? No question, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Ah, no question, okay. I don't make 
you don't make, they don't make, Sylvia and Candy don't make. And for third person singular, she doesn't make. He does, he doesn't. My friend doesn't. Oscar doesn't. My brother doesn't. My sister doesn't. My friend doesn't. Dino, <laughs> Dino, Dino doesn't, right? And notice, we don't say makes, we say make. Okay? If we eliminate doesn't, si eliminaremos doesn't, entonces si le agregamos la S, lo que me preguntaba Alejandro, ¿verdad? Digamos, he makes. Right? Aquí se aplicaría. Pero ¿cómo usamos el auxiliar? No es necesario agregarle la S. ¿verdad? Ok. Questions? Questions, class? No. Ok. So let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now we're going to make questions. How to make questions, right? Notice auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? Notice the difference. We're going to go back. We're going to go back, right? In affirmative, we have the, the structure. Give me a second here. Subject, verb, and complement, right? Simple, right? In the negative, we have the structure, uh, give me a second. We have the structure, subject, auxiliary, the word not, the verb, and the complement, right? And in negative, in question, sorry, the structure is auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? Do you like pizza? Of course, yes, I do. Or maybe you say, ah, oh, no, I don't. I prefer taquitos or pupusa, right? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay? Now, for third person singular, we don't say do. We say does. Does. Does she live in La Union? Okay? And again, look. Because I am using the auxiliary. Here, the auxiliary, right? Oh, excuse me. Aquí what the person use? Uh, uh, auxiliary well when uh, you make questions does? when you make questions and you want to use auxiliary Carlo Enrique is for all that are singular por todos los que son singulares ok and also with the pronouns mm -hmm. y también con los pronombres okay. he, she and it he, she, it it, only in okay. o cuando el nombre es singular for example, here we have uh, Das Enri Carlos Enrique, for example. Huh? Carlos Enrique is only one. So, does Carlos Enrique live in La Unión? Okay. Does, does Cocolito live in La Unión, for example? Right? Does my mother live in La Unión? Right? So, all the time in this context, when you use Das, this subject must be singular right? Okay. Third person. Third person. And okay. the verb, notice again, when you use the auxiliary, the verb goes to the base form. El verbo regresa a su base, a su normalidad, ¿no? Entonces decimos does she live? We don't say does she lives? No, no. Does she live, right? So, in general rule, right? Una regla general para que no les cueste es, cada vez que ustedes usen el auxiliar, el verbo regresa a su forma normal. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? No importa que sea negativo, pregunta. No importa. Lo importante es que vaya el auxiliar. Si va el auxiliar, el verbo no le agrega la S. But no auxiliar, si no hay auxiliar, entonces sí, hay que agregar la S. En la tercera persona. ¿Ok? Good. Questions? Questions, questions? Chichel, y si es una respuesta. Ah. Mm. Yes. También se usa el das o el das en here. Yes. Excuse me. Perdón, Andrés, que me olvidó mencionar eso. Yes, it's the same auxiliary. But, Andrés, you have two forms to answer. It's a long answer and a short answer. So, in this case, for example, does she live in La Unión? Yes. She lives in La Unión. No. She doesn't live in La Unión. Notice. But normally, we say short answer. In English, 
a ellos les gusta hablar súper rápido, en Inglaterra, en Australia, Estados Unidos, Jamaica, donde ellos hablan inglés, rápido, very fast, right? So, normally they say short answer. Normalmente van a ver que en las conversaciones siempre respuesta corta. Yes. Ok. Good. Now let's see a general view. A general view. Vamos a ver una, un vistazo general. How to make question. Right. Notice. Do I ask for assistance? Yes, I do. No, I'm sorry. Yes, you do. Oh, no, you don't. Do you ask for assistance? Mm, yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Right. Do we ask? Do they ask? Do Sylvia and Candy? Candy? Ooh, okay. Ahí no se, no se ve la I, ¿verdad? Pero ahí está una I. <laughs> Candy. So, do Sylvia and Candy? No, this is plural, right? Ask for assistance? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Then, when, we, when you ask about a third person singular, he, she, and it, or a name that is a noun that is singular, like my friend, Oscar, Pedro, Maria, Juan, Firulais, etc., etc. So we say, das. No do, but das. Does my friend ask? No with S, only ask for assistance. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't, etc., etc. Right? Okay? This is Like we say in El Salvador, right? La mera mata <laughs> del inglés, right? This is really important. Really important. And if you don't, you don't understand, stop. Stop me and say, teacher, I don't understand. Si a este momento todavía no han entendido, deténganme. Porque si, si no, más adelante no van a entender lo demás. Questions. I am waiting for questions. Dino is also waiting for questions. No questions? Okay. Let's continue. So we're going to go to the practice, right? Now, it says complete the statements and circle the correct simple present tense, right? Let's begin with this. Number one, I need, I need a car. Uh, Cindy, please, can you help me? I need a car. I need a car? Yes. Okay. Mm, listen, uh, in this case, I is singular, right? Está bien, I es, es singular, right? Mm -hmm. Está en tercera persona. No, perdón, está en afirmativo, yes? Okay. Pero el problema es que I no es tercera persona. I es primera persona, right? So, Cindy... What do you think? ¿Quiere repensar su respuesta? Okay. Sin... Uh -huh. Sí. I uh -huh. need a car. I need a car, right? Yes, why? Bueno, el teacher dijo que era singular y este es singular. El teacher dijo que la oración debería ser afirmativa y esta es oración afirmativa. Ah, pero I es primera persona. El que habla, I. Y la regla dice que tiene que ser tercera persona singular, right? He, she, and it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Cindy. Now, eh, Cristina, please. Next, Cristina. Give me a second. Permítame que vamos a borrar aquí. Okay. My brother won or my brother wants those shoes? My brother wants those Once. Once. Correct, right? Affirmative, simple present. And my brother is singular, yes, but it's third person, it's tercera persona. Es un he, right? My brother. Okay, nice. Next one, please. Uh, who's next? Esau, please. Dora Alicia. Second, please. 
Right. Have or has? <laughs> has. Has. Okay. I don't know, Saúl, escuché una voz detrás de usted, como que le están soplando ahí, ¿verdad? No. No, oh, mentira. No. No, mentira. Ok, let's continue. Now, next one, number four, is we like or we likes. Let me see. Eh, Elizabeth, please. Um, sería we like. We like. Correct, right? Cling. Excelentoso. Now, and number five, we'll finish, right? Ah, it's the same, right? Let me see, Dorali. Ah, no, it's different. Uh, Jill, please, can you help me, Jill? Doralicia one or Doralicia once? Dora, Doralicia one. Amor o cycle. Amor o cycle. One, repeat, please, one or once? One. No once. One. One. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a minute. The problem maybe is because Doralicia, but Doralicia is just a person, right? Es una sola persona, Doralicia. No es Dora y Alicia, <laughs> sino que Doralicia. It's just one person, right? It's singular. Mm -hmm. It's singular, right? Okay. Uh, it's once. Once. Okay. <laughs> Se aceptan arrepentimientos. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once. Okie dokie. Now let's continue with the next one, right? Let's continue. Vamos a borrar esto. And let's continue with the next one. Number six. Okay. Uh, who's next? Mm, Beatriz, please. Can you help me, Beatriz? My parents like or my parents likes? Beatriz, can you copy? Okay, so Jorge, Jorge, help me, please. Like. Likes. Likes. Mm-hmm. Likes. Good. My parents is affirmative. Yes. Is third person, tercera persona, right? It's true. Is the simple present, correct? But my parents is plural, right, Jorge? Plural. Yeah. So in this case, my parents likes or my parents like. Parents like, not like. like, like, right? Why? Because my parents is plural, so we say like. I will repeat, I will make an exercise, right? Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio para que, para que lo entendamos bien. Look, thank you, Jorge, thank you very much. Now, thank you, okay, now, first person, right? First person. Is the one that speak, right? I and we, right? Second person is the one that listen, el que escucha. In this case, it's you, 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 right? Tú o ustedes, right? And the third person is the one we talk about, de quien hablamos, de quien es el chambre, so we say. He, she, it, right? In singular and in plural. Let me see. In plural. In plural is they, right? They. Okay. In this case, my parents is mi mamá y mi papá, right? Mis papás, my parents. So, what is my parents? He, she, it, or they? They. They, correct. So when we say they, we are going to use the verb in the base form. Vamos a usar el verbo en su base, en la S, ¿ok? But when we say he... Bye. En ese caso, uh -huh, eh, yes. teacher, no, 
no me queda claro porque, eh, en efecto, es tercera persona uh -huh. eh, y es plural, both. both. Ajá, es plural. That's the point, eh, Carlos Enrique. That's the point, es plural. Entendería que el verbo se queda en su forma simple, la... no se le aplica la S porque el, el, el complement es plural. No, 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 no de complemento no, no, sería el sujeto. The subject, parents. Right? Ah, uh, parents. Ah, ok. Ok, uh, aquí el complemento no tiene que ver si es un bote o varios botes, eso no importa, right? Lo que nos importa es que cuando decimos, por ejemplo, mis amigos, mis compañeros, mis papás, mis hermanos, right? Hablamos de varias personas, yes? O bueno, de dos en adelante, ¿no? So we can say they. Y dijimos que solo vamos a agregarle una S al verbo siempre y cuando hablemos de la tercera persona, pero singular, singular, right? Tiene que ser singular. Si no es singular, entonces, fuera, no aplica la regla. <ríe> ¿Ok? Ok, entonces, para, 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 ter para aterrizar el, el ejemplo, okay. si se utilizara like, si fuese la oración your, your parent. Your parents, ahí está diciendo otra vez plural, tus papás. No, parent, parent. Ah, solo un, solo un papá, your parent. Ajá. Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, normalmente no se dice your parents, se dice your father sí. o your mother, pero digamos parents. que es your parent. Los dos. Ahí sí. No solo uno. Si me dice solo uno, entonces aquí sí diríamos your parent likes. Solo es un papá. <risa> o una okay. mamá. <risa> ok. O digámoslo okay. con familiares mejor, eh, con hermanos y hermanas, Carlos Enrique. Mi hermana, o sea, my sister likes. My sister likes. ¿Por qué? Porque solo es una hermana. Pero se digo, my sisters like. Like. Yeah. Ahí estamos. Ok. Solo, solo Thank you. cuando es singular, right? Vamos a ver otros ejemplos para que quede más claro también. Déjame. Ok, good. Next one, right? Pirulais barks. Pirulais ladra. <laughs> Pirulais barks. Okay, let's continue. Number seven, right? Uh, who's next in the list? Uh, Beatriz, Jennifer, Jorge ya participó. Enrique, Enrique, please. Enrique, Maria's sister needs or Maria's sister needs a bicycle? Bicycle. M Maria's sister needs a bicycle. Need. Okay, need. give me a second. Need, right? Okay. Sorry to ask, but I need the public, right? Necesito la opinión del público, <laughs> Enrique. Sorry. Now, the public, what do you say? Need or needs? Needs. 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 Ah, with S. Pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. Pero, por ejemplo, donde dice Marías, está la S porque está hablando en propiedad de mi hermana. Okay. Yes. Pero aquí no estamos hablando de María. No estamos hablando de Pedro ni de Juan, estamos hablando de la hermana de María. ¿Ok? Ah, okay. De la hermana de María. María sí. La S significa posesión. Posesivo, yes. Like I say, Enrique's house. Enrique's house. O when I say, Jorge's Ferrari, el Ferrari de Jorge. ¿Qué puede estrellar? A la Luceiro. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Jorge's, Jorge's car. So, in this case, no estamos okay. hablando de Jorge, estamos hablando del carro de Jorge. Yes? Pero si Jorge tuviera dos carros, ¿verdad? diríamos Jorge's cars. Carro, carro. de Jorge. Ahí sí, mire, ahí cambia el plural, ¿ve? Pero, o podríamos hablar de aquí de las hermanas de María. Podemos decir, María's Sisters, las hermanas yeah. de María. Ahí sí diríamos need, pero como estamos hablando solo de una hermana, de one sister, right? One sister. Entonces, ¿qué decimos? Need o needs. 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 
Cling. Yeah. Correct. Hoy sí, ya casi, ya casi estamos claros. Lo único que me afligen son los que no me han comentado, ¿verdad? Pero los que no me preguntan. A mí me fascinan las preguntas, ya les dije. Me fascinan las preguntas. Así que, my partner, solo vamos a poner esto aquí. Like. He needs. Ok, good. Let's continue, right? Number eight. Who's next? Eh, Mario, right? Hello, Mario. Help me, please. He like. He like. He like or he likes. Mario. Alguien me le sopló ya, Mario. <laughs> well, déjeme a Mario que él conteste. He likes. He likes, correct. Yes, Very good. Yes, correct. Nice. He likes. Very good, Mario. Nice. Ok. Uh, Todavía sigue malita la cámara, Mario. Sí. Uh, bueno, ahorita se la puedo poner. Solo que Bye. siempre tengo la batería. Pero... Ah, bueno, bueno. Pero... Ahí lo que le dé la batería. No importa, ahí arregle la... <ríe> El relajo de atrás, yo también así, solo cierro la puerta aquí y cierro todo mi relajo ahí. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mario. Now, number nine, number nine. Let's continue with number nine, right? Uh, after Mario, we have Andres. Andres, please. My mom. It's my mother, right? My mom. Need or needs? Andres? Need. Need, right? My mother needs. Andres. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. My money singular or plural, Andrés. Singular o plural. Yeah. Buen provecho, por cierto. <risa> no, that's okay. eh, es válido, el café. Andrés. Pero mire, cuando, cuando sea cafecito y, y semita, aquí repártela en el grupo, por favor, porque aquí todos nos gusta la semita. <risa> Ok, my mom, eh, Andrés, sí, hojita. Una, oh, hojita. <ríe> Pero no la del mango, ¿va? porque a usted le gusta cortar los mangos. <ríe> ok, my eh, mom, my eh, mom eh, is singular eh. o plural, Andrés. Singular o plural. Singular. Ah, singular, so. Need o needs. Needs, perdón, needs. Ok, very good. Needs, sí. Very good. My mom needs a dress, right? Because my mom is a she. Is a she. First, first person. Yes. First person. Second person. No, 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 no. It's not first person. It's third person. Remember, mom. right? I will. I, it's easy. Hagámoslo así de fácil, ¿no? Primera persona, el que habla. Segunda, el que uh -huh. escucha. Y tercera es el metiche. Ah, no, no. La tercera no está en la conversación. <laughs> Está el meque, fuera. El Tercera Está es fuera. la vecina. La vecina. Okay, cuánta maldad. No, ok. Es, es, es alguien que no está dentro de la conversación, ¿ok? Uh -huh. No está Por dentro. Eso, la vecina. No, pero también es el tío, también es Firulais, también es mi, mi, mi co compañero de trabajo, ¿yo no? Know? Es otra, es otra persona que no está dentro de la conversación. Y esa okay. persona puede ser plural, como my parents, o puede ser singular, como my mom. ¿Ok? Entonces, si esa tercera persona es singular, fácil, le agregamos la S y ya. Entonces, ustedes piensen, bueno, vamos a ver, my parents, ¿está dentro de la conversación? No, no está dentro. Ah, pero es plural. Entonces, my parents like. La hermana de María... No está en la conversación y es singular. Ah, entonces needs, ahí sí aplica. He también no está en la conversación y es singular. Entonces likes. Y mi mamá pues no está incluida en la conversación y es singular. Entonces needs, right? ¿Les parece esa fórmula? A ver si nos... Ah, permítanme. Ahí está. A ver si no funciona. Let's continue, right? Next one. Next one. Who's next? Eh, Alejandro ya está con nosotros, ¿verdad? 
solo termino con Alejandro y vamos a pasar el listado, porque ya nos pasamos. Alejandro, do you copy? Ok. Ok. Sí. So, you need or you need? Need. Need, correct. Very good. Why? Porque tú estás en la conversación. Tú me escuchas. Tú eres la segunda persona, right? So you, you need. Cuando es segunda persona, yeah. no se le agrega la S. Okay? Very good. Nice. So I will pass the attendance. Eh, Carlos Josué. Cindy. Miss Méndez. Present. Okay, very good. Cristina. Here, Hoy no me escucha bien, ¿verdad, Cristi? Ahora sí. Ah, ok, very good. Hoy no está lloviendo. Eh, Joshua. Joshua. Hoy no vino Joshua. Ok, Esaú. Ok. Edwin Osvaldo. Elizabeth. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni, hello, welcome. Hello. Welcome, Giovanni. Ok. Ya lo vamos a hacer participar, Giovanni, ya, en la siguiente, oiga, en la siguiente ronda. Eh, Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. Algo le pasó al internet de Beatriz porque estaba bien activa con nosotros, ¿no? así que. Bueno, eh, Jennifer. Jennifer Rivas. Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Jennifer. Se me había escondido. <ríe> welcome. <ríe> ok, eh, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you, Eduardo. Welcome, Eduardo. Excelentoso. Ya tenemos más participantes. Thank you, Eduardo. Alejandro. Alejandro. Ok, thank you. Eh, Manuel Eduardo. Mario. I'm here. Thank you, Andrés. Here to you. Thank you, Oscar, Daniel. So, ah, Oscar, hey, welcome. Welcome to the class, Oscar, bienvenido. <laughs> ya tenemos otro nuevo estudiante, ok. Thank you for coming, gracias por asistir. Ahorita mismo le tomo la asistencia, permítame. Oscar, Daniel. What do you prefer, Oscar o Daniel? Oscar. Oscar está mejor, ok, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Ya lo vamos a hacer participar, oiga. Okay. Yeah. Very good, thank you. And Victor. Here to charge. Thank you. Wilfredo, Antonio. Ok. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. I mean, thank you. No, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> ok, excuse me. Now. Any question? Let's continue with the next exercise. Oh, excuse me. Me faltó uno ahí. Lawyers. Lawyers need or lawyers needs? Vamos a dejarle a Oscar. Vamos a inaugurar a Oscar ahí. Ok. Oscar, we're, eh, bueno, me imagino que escuchó el último ejercicio, ¿verdad, Oscar? Sí. Sí, sí ok. Yeah. Entonces, se, se sabe la respuesta. Yo sé que la sabe. Lawyers need or lawyers need? What is the correct one? Lawyers need. Ok. Acaba de entrar a clase y ya se puso buzo, Oscar. Miren, need. Lawyers need, right? Because it's plural, right? Okidoki. Hoy yeah. sí, creo que ahí vamos al siguiente diapositiva. Ok. Now, here we have a sentence that is affirmative, right? And we are going to change from affirmative to negative, right? Ok. Now, uh, I have... Uh, Victor, right? Victor, can you help me? Number one, please. Juan has a big house. 
Juan has a big house. What is the negative for Juan has a big house? The subject is the same, right? El sujeto siempre va a ser el mismo. Juan, right? Juan. Uh -huh. And not a big okay, wait, house. Wait, wait. Juan does or Juan do? Uh, Juan uh, does. Does, correct, right? And then the word not, right? Not. But, but Victor, in this case, we make a contraction, a reduction, right? Uh, cuando las mamitas van a dar a luz, uh, la, la estomaguita se le hace chiquita, ¿verdad? Por eso dice el doctor, hay una contracción. Uh -huh. Con, contracción es reducir, hacer más pequeño, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, that's yeah. it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Victor. So Juan doesn't. Big house. We miss the verb, right? Aquí nos falta el verbo. A big. A uh, big house. Have or has? Mm, sorry, uh, uh, how? Ha Excuse me, Victor. Have or has? No, no le copié. How? Ah, very good. Why? Vamos a ver por qué Victor dice how. Because the rule says, dijimos una regla general. Siempre que usemos el auxiliar das el verbo regresa a su forma normal, a la base del verbo. Entonces, no decimos Juan doesn't has, has, but Juan doesn't have, right? And then a big house. Thank you. Next one. Okay. Thank you, Victor. Now, uh, Carlos Enrique, please. Carlos Enrique, are you there? Bueno, a veces el internet nos juega una mala pasada. Ay, ay. Ah, ah ok, good, Carlos Enrique. <ríe> Sorry, ya no lo había visto. Ay. El micrófono. Ah, de Max. Excuse me, right? Ok, there, there is an expression. In El Salvador we have an expression. Look, Dino me va a decir la expresión. Mm -hmm. Qué oso. I need. <laughs> I need or I don't. No, need. I I I don't. Don't. I do. I don't. Ah, uh -huh, but it's do not, right? Uh -huh. I, do. I don't. Contraction. I I don't. I don't need. No, no, no. I don't need. Uh huh. I'm kidding. Lo estamos molestando, Carlos. I don't need mm -hmm. a bright, a white, a white shirt at work. I don't need a white shirt at work. Thank you, Carlos Enrique. And next one, please. Who's next? I have Cindy. Please, Cindy, help me with number three, please. They, they does one black chest. Chest. Cindy, listen. Mm -hmm. They is third person singular. Es tercera persona singular. They, yes or no? Yes. Singular o plural? What do you say? Singular or plural? Es plural. Ajá. Plural. So, with, uh, I will copy this for you. Give me, give me a second, please. I will copy this for you. Uh, here, right? Aquí lo vamos a copiar. We use do and we use does for the next. Look, do is for I, we, you, they and all plural, right? Y todos los no nombres plurales. Plural. Okay? And we okay. use that 
for he. We use that for for she. We use that for eat. And we use that for all the singular noun, right? All the singular. Okay? Okay. Now, in this case, Juan, Juan is a he, and it's singular, so Juan doesn't, right? Okay, and I is singular, yes, it's singular, pero es per primera persona, look, I, right? So we say, I don't. You don't say, I doesn't, no, I don't, right? And finally, yeah, excuse me. Yes, yes, Eduardo. Why you say does? You say that does and Juan that the bear is has. For for okay. me is a was Juan hasn't. Ah no 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 no, no doesn't. Okay, okay. Let, let me see. Vamos a dejar esto. O sea, ahí me perdí porque si si el si, si ocupo el has estaría ocupando el hasn't o el doesn't. Si Perfecto. ocupo el do, es ah, el que está hacen. Ahorita, es ahorita voy a explicarle. Aquí es, es una confusión bien normal, que eso nos pasa a todos cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés. Ya le voy a decir. Ok. So when I say Juan has, is positive, right? But when we say Juan hasn't, o oh, has not, right? Okay? But, listen to me, we're talking about simple present. Estamos hablando del presente simple. Okay? And in the simple present, I need to use do and does. Solo esos dos auxiliares se pueden usar. No se puede usar otro, más que el do y el does. Solo esos dos. Si yo uso has not, en entonces solo, solo voy a tener esta idea, solo voy a tener esta idea, un momentito. Si yo uso el has en esta oración, estoy usando un tema que se llama present perfect, el presente perfecto, ¿sí? Y yo diría, por ejemplo, Juan no ha tenido, mire, Juan no ha tenido, entonces estoy cambiando todo el contexto de la, de la oración. Quiere decir que a los verbos, dicen, a los verbos no se le puede agregar not, ¿sí? Es otro tema si le agregamos esa, esa not al has. Vaya, para que me entiendan lo siguiente, mire, por ejemplo, yo no puedo decir I need not, no puedo decir I need not, o no puedo decir they want not, no, no se puede eso. Tengo que meterle ahí el auxiliar do o das. Tengo que metérselo a la fuerza. Entonces aquí, en esta oración, Juan, mire, ya le metimos el auxiliar, ¿ve? Das. ¿Sí? Y el verbo queda en su forma normal. Ah. ¿Ok? Por eso es que no, por eso no podemos decir hasn't. No podemos decir hasn't. Porque si usamos hasn't, no estaríamos usando el auxiliar do ni das, que es el auxiliar para el presente af afirmativo, ¿sí? Perdón, para el, pre el presente simple, perdón. ¿Ok? ¿Copiado, Eduardo? Sí, lo que explica, sí. Entonces, ¿Qué? le doy vuelta a la pregunta. ¿Por qué en la oración? ¿Por qué Juan has y no Juan das? Ah, no, no, no. Porque, porque Juan has, tiene. Ahí me, perdí, ahí me perdí por el uso ah, de no, has. No, no. Es que Juan tiene, tiene una casa grande. <ríe> Juan tiene una casa, ¿sí? Entonces el verbo principal es aquí has, ¿sí? El verbo principal es tiene. Pero el ejercicio, Eduardo, es cambiarle esa oración afirmativa a negativa. Entonces, si Juan tiene, ¿qué es lo opuesto de Juan tiene? Juan no tiene, <ríe> ¿ok? Por eso es que hemos puesto aquí has. Y... Según lo que acabamos de ver, me voy a regresar un poquito acá a las reglas. Permítanme. Me voy a regresar a las reglas que dimos. Ta, 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 nos regresamos. Vaya, aquí están las reglas, miren. A la mayoría de verbos se le agrega la S. Miro. Disculpe estas letras que están aquí, pero ya las voy a borrar. Cuando el verbo termina en estas letras, se le agrega ES. 
si el verbo termina en Y, se le cambia la Y por I latina y luego le agregamos ES. Pero hay verbos irregulares, mire Eduardo. Como el DAS, el GO y el, mire, el HAS. Quiere decir que cuando yo digo CHI o HE, no digo CHI HAVES. No digo CHI HAVES, digo CHI HAS. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo HAVE y HAS, aquí en este contexto, son irregulares. ¿Ok? Y ya dijimos que no podemos decir hacen porque si no estaríamos hablando de otro tema. Estaríamos hablando de otro tema. Por aquí está ya. Pregunta. Vaya, pero per solo termino con lo de Eduardo. Regálame un segundito nada más. Sí, perdón, perdón. Para, para terminar con el contexto, permítame, que ya, ahorita ya regresé a, a donde estábamos. Entonces, Eduardo, entonces sí, sí le queda en claro por qué hemos usado has. Y luego hemos cambiado a have. Yes. Yes. ¿Seguro? ¿Seguro, seguro? Seguro, sí, 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 sí. sí. Vale, ok, bien. Porque si no ponemos otro ejemplo. Aquí ustedes mandan, ¿verdad? Ok. Y luego tenemos... Eh, otro, otro, ¿Otro ejemplo? Eh, next example, please. Next example. Ok, sigamos entonces. Yes. Ok, the black shoes... Eh, the, they want black shoes. Aquí nos hemos quedado con Cindy, ¿verdad? Sí. Permítame, Cindy, ahorita voy, regáleme un segundito, que aquí con la electrónica, pues, hay que manejar. Ok, they want black shoes. Good. Now, in this case, eh, we are going to use do or does. Cindy? Do. They do. They, or... they, they. They don't They want, don't want black, black shoes. Ya tenía lista la respuesta. Así. Ok, nice. They do not or they don't want black shoes, right? Ok, let's continue with the next one. Number four, right? Number four. The store has two, those jackets. The store has those jackets. Uh, help me, please, Cristina. Estamos otra vez con, con el has. Mire, Eduardo, este ejemplo nos va a servir también. La tienda tiene esas chaquetas. La tienda tiene esas chaquetas. ¿Ok? Good. En presente simple. Ajá, Cristi. The... The store. Das. Das. Very good. ¿Por qué das? Porque... Es solo una tienda, solo una tienda, singular, right? Does not, right? Contraction, Christy? Doesn't. Doesn't, very good. Doesn't have or doesn't has? Doesn't have. Ah, very good. Those jackets. Excelente also. Very good. Those jackets, right? Very good. And number five, please. After Cristina, we have uh, Esaú. We we want we. We do or we does? We do. We do, we right? do not. We do not. We do. We or do contraction. Not. We does. No, no. We don't. Uh-huh. We don't one times. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Asau. Very good. Now, let's go to the next exercise. Next one. Give me a second. I will erase this. Good. Complete these sentences, right, using uh, do and does and saying the answer, right? Do you need or does you need? Uh, in this case, Elizabeth, please. Do or does. Solo voy a hacer una cosa. Regáleme, voy a apagar todos los micrófonos. Thank you. 
Ahí estamos. Y solo me va a activar su micrófono, Elizabeth. Please, Elizabeth. Do you or does you? Do you or does you? Do you? Do you need a green shirt at work? No. Uh -huh. No. No, I do or no, no I does or no I don't or no I doesn't. What is the correct one? No, I don't. No, I don't. Oopsie. No, I don't. Uh-huh. Very good. Do you need a green shirt at work? No, I don't. Nice. Who's next in the list? Jill, please. Number two, Jill. Okay. Do John or does John? What is the correct? Do or does, Jill? Does. Does. Very good. Does John have three children? Yes. Yes. John is a man, right? Yes. Yes, she, yes, he, or yes, it? Yes, he. Yes, he? He do or he does? He does. Yes, he does. Listen, three children. Does John have three children? Yes, he does. Does John have television? No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay, number three. Number three. Uh, after Elizabeth, we have, uh, no, after Jill, we have uh, Giovanni, right? Giovanni. 10 cuatro, yeah. Giovanni, 10 cuatro. Do or that, yeah. Giovanni? Do. Do, do you like, right? Thank you. Do you like parties at night? No? No, I don't. No, I don't. Excellent also. Thank you. Number four, after Giovanni, we have... Eh, Beatriz ya se conectó nuevamente. No, right. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer, please. Your wife. So your wife is he, she, or they? Your wife. Bueno, en este caso tendría sí. que ser. Eh, eh, Jennifer, en su caso tendría que ser your husband, ¿verdad? tendría que ser su esposo. ¿verdad? Pero digamos este ejemplo aquí, your wife, right? Okay. Sería do o das. Este ejemplo mm -hmm. es para el teacher, para mí, ¿verdad? <ríe> so, do o das. ¿Cuántas, mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas personas son mi esposa? Do, una. Una, entonces, do o das. Do. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Dijimos que cuando era singular, ¿cuál le vamos a usar? ¿El do o el das? Le entendí que cuando íbamos a usar el singular íbamos a usar, cuando teníamos eh, dos o tres personas íbamos a usar das. No, 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 no. cuando, no, no, cuando era... Es? Sí, al revés. Sí, okay. Entonces, das. ¿Sería? Entonces sería das, right? Das. Ahí oigo una voz bien bonita ahí, ¿verdad? El... <ríe> Jennifer. Ok. No. Como es una ella, sería he o she. Jennifer. 
Sí. Sí. No chi do o no chi das. No chi das. Ajá. Y le agregamos el no, ¿verdad? Lo contractamos Ajá. y decimos she doesn't. No, no she, doesn't. she doesn't. Does your wife need a sweater? No, she doesn't. En el caso de Jennifer, does your husband need a sweater? No, he doesn't, right? No necesito un suéter. Hay una, no, tiren una cobija, Jennifer, ya va a estar tranquilo. <ríe> okay, number five. Thank you, <ríe> Jennifer. No, Richard, eh, Richard, Jorge. Eh, ah, yes, yes. Please eh, repeat. Eh, ¿Cuánto tú das? When? Okay, I will, I will repeat. I will repeat. Here, right? We use do and does. Quieren darle una captura de pantalla para memorizarlo. I, you, we, they, they, they uh -huh. y todos los plurales. Siempre que hay un plural, el do. Okay? And we use does With she, me. she, uh -huh, very good. I hit it. Dale un segundo que aquí me cuesta, la, <ríe> me cuesta la typeada, ¿verdad? Y todos los singulares. Todo el nombre que sea singular, Pedro, María, Juan, el estudiante, la ventana, la casa, das. ¿Ok? Veamos sí. los ejemplos. Sí, John, gracias. por ejemplo, John es un él. Entonces, das. ¿Ve? Das he. Eh, tu esposa. ¿Cuántas esposas? Solo es una. Bueno, si estaría en Arabia sería otra historia, pero aquí en el <risa> Por favor, solo es una. Eh. Ok. So, your wife. Singular. So, das, right? Ahora aquí, you and your friends. Tú y tus amigos. ¿Le hizo captura ahí, Carlos Enrique? Sí. Ok. Very good. Ups. Permítame. Aquí vamos a borrar esto. Ahí estamos. So, who's next? Who's next? ¿Quién seguiría? Eh, ya ten, tuvimos a Jennifer. Jorge, Jorge. Please, Jorge. You and your yeah. friends. Who are that? You. Ah, do or das, Jorge. That. Okay, wait a minute. You are singular, uh, right? You are singular. Do, uh, do, you, do. you, right? Do uh -huh. Aha, but in this case, it's plural. Tú y tus amigos son un montón. <laughs> Especialmente <laughs> los viernes, va, Jorge. <laughs> son un montón de, de amigos. Entonces, uh -huh. do. Plural, right? Recuérdense, yeah. vaya, aquí, mire, Jorge, para que no le cueste. Your wife, solo es una. Entonces, das. John solo es un Juan, mire. Yeah, yeah. Das. Yeah. Y aparte de que sean uno singular, son terceras personas porque no están dentro de la conversación. En cambio, que el you sí es. En, en este, sí, correcto. En este caso, you está dentro de la conversación. ¿Ve? Okay. Y tú y tus amigos son plural, entonces do, right? Ahora vamos a la respuesta. Jorge. Eh, Jorge Yes. Jorge, si le digo a usted, usted y sus amigos, ¿cómo me va a responder? Nosotros. Nosotros, ok. How do you say nosotros in English? We, right? Yeah. We do or we, we doesn't or we don't. Jorge. We doesn't. No lo sé, Rick. We don't. We don't. Very good. ¿Alguien me contestó ahí? <ríe> Está bien. Me le están soplando no, ahí. A... Jorge, me le están soplando. Me están ayudando. Le están ayudando, Jorge. <ríe> sí, Jorge sí, es que soy, soy el tercero positiva. ahí. Jorge el tercero, ¿verdad? <ríe> yeah. Ok, very good. Ajá, Jorge, ¿te pero, una pregunta? Pero ahí está diciendo que no. Cuando dice no. Ah, ya, perdón. Listen, eh, Jorge, look at this. 
Qué oso wow. for the teacher. Qué oso for the teacher. <ríe> Qué oso yeah. para el teacher. Tiene razón. Es yes, we do. Entonces eliminémosle. Yeah. Excuse me, Jorge. Andrés, le estamos dando mala copia ahí a Jorge. Disculpe. <ríe> pero lo bueno que está bien. No, pero Jorge está listo, ¿eh? Está listo, está en la juega. ¿eh? Sí. <ríe> yeah, ok, tenés un 10. No, any, ahí. any other questions? No questions? Okay, let's continue, okay. please. Now, we're going to apply this to the to the word, right? Affirmative, negative, and question. Let me see. What time is it? <gasps> Ooh, it's very late. But I am very interested in that you complete this exercise, right? Look, these are the activities we do in your work. Know the policies. Para Elizabeth, Oscar. Eh, ¿Y quién más está nuevo ahora? Ya me perdí, pero ten tenemos tres estudiantes nuevos, ¿verdad? Yes. Giovanni creo, Giovanni creo que era el, el otro compañero. No, no, Giovanni no, ya estuvo con nosotros, Giovanni. Es que se incorporó luego, ¿verdad? Sí. Giovanni estuvo ayer con nosotros, sí. Bueno, Oscar y sí. Elisa, right? Eh, these are activities you do in your, in your world. Look, look, Elizabeth and Oscar. Know the policies, conocer las políticas de la compañía, right? Know the regulations, conocer las reglas, right? Help workers, ayudar a los trabajadores, help people, help the company, advertise the company, los que trabajan en marketing, no sé, de Abanc, o de Banco Atlántida, o de Unicomer, etcétera, etcétera, los que trabajan en publicidad, right? Advertise, design softwares, Diseño de software, right? Develop software. Answer the phone like the secretaries and make phone calls. Now we are going to make affirmative, negative and question, right? And this is the most difficult part. Esta parte está más difícil. Es que let's do it together, right? Uh, Enrique, please. I need you make affirmative sentence with know the policies. Enrique, you can say, I know the policies. You know the policies. My friends know the policies. He knows the policies, etc., etc. Okay? Affirmative, Enrique. Me podría volver a repetir, teacher, por favor. Okay, wait, wait. Vamos, vamos a, a darle un ejemplo acá para que usted lo, me haga la siguiente. Help worker, right? Know the policies. What is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo? No, right? Entonces solo necesitamos un sujeto. Oh. Vamos a poner I know the, regul the policy, right? Yo conozco las políticas, right? Afírmate, ¿ok? Now, hágame la mm -hmm. otra entonces. Know the regulations. Puede usar cualquier sujeto, Enrique. I, you, he, they, my brother, yeah. my sister. Uh, your brother know the policies. Your brother knows, porque es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Knows oh. the policies. Very good. Your brother knows the policies. Correct. Now, health workers. Affirmative, please. Uh, thank you, Enrique. Eduardo. Eduardo, please. Health workers. Eduardo, do you copy? Yes. Okay. Give me the sentence. Help workers. They help workers. Okay, they help workers. Very good. No lo vamos a escribir para ir avanzando rápido. Okay. Thank you. They help workers. No es, right? Because it's plural. Uh -huh. Okay. And then I have... Sorry, Eduardo. Now, Alejandro, please. Can you help me, Alejandro? Uh, help people. Okay. Uh, ¿El qué sería? Uh, I, you, we, 
Help people. Okay. Help people. Ah, okay. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? I help people. I help. Excellent. Very good. I help people. Very good. So this is the example. Now we're going to go to negative, right? Negative. For the negative, we're going to use all these activities. Vamos a cambiar las actividades. Write reports, send reports, eh, send emails, arrange meetings, etc., etc., right? What can we make? In negative, we can say, for example, let's say carry boxes, llevar cajas, acarrear cajas. So we say, I don't carry boxes, right? Good. She doesn't carry boxes. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, let's say Enrique doesn't carry boxes, for example, right? Other example, right? Uh, they don't repair computers. Look. Repair computer, right? Okay. Now, give me the example, please. In negative. Who's next? Uh, ¿Con quién estábamos? Perdón, con Alejandro, ¿verdad? Alejandro, do you copy? Yeah. Uh... Okay. Give me an example, please. Uh, cualquier pronombre. Any pronoun. Any subject. Okay. Uh, uh, sería... Larry to us for assistance as as for assistant right okay give me a second yeah. for me to get my shot up on as for assistant uh, what what is the the subject repeat please no le escuché bien el sujeto alejandro larry mary larry or mary larry larry okay thank you excuse me i guess this is the way. larry doesn't Doesn't ask for ask, assistance. Ask for assistance. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Another example. And we we'll finish this, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, Mario, please. Help me, Mario. In negative. Mario, Mario, do you copy? Sí. Yes, okay, Mario. Um, perdón, estaba distraído con mi mamá. Uh, ah, okay, que... <laughs> no problem, Mario, no problem. But in this case, we're giving examples of negative sentences. Look, I don't carry, she doesn't carry, Larry doesn't ask. So you can use one of these verbs, Mario. Puedo usar cualquiera de estos verbos y me hace una oración en negativa, okay? Negative. I don't repair computers. Excellent. So I don't repair computers. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the questions. Ahora vamos a hacer pregunta, right? Uh, hello? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? 